I get out where I put chocolate on the seat. The snacks? Yeah, they're kind of cool. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Would you like to go to some more things? Yeah. All right, buckle up. That's Shannon picking up her soon-to-be daughter, Shai. You know what? I'll let her introduce herself. Cheyenne Marilyn Marie Kirk Jacobs Culkin. <laughs> I'm 20. Me and Shannon are in the process of doing an adult adoption. It's really kind of special and important. I had no clue you could do an adult adoption. Neither did I. Yeah, and it's not an entirely wrong assumption because there's limits to adult adoptions in every province and territory. But for Shannon and Cheyenne, it was a perfect fit. They first met five years ago when Shannon was a mentor for youth transitioning out of homelessness. After Cheyenne moved out of the transition home, the two of them kept in touch and kept getting closer. And now... They live a block away from each other and go on a drive almost every single day. I did this with a lot of the youth, but I, it turned out to be sort of Cheyenne's favorite was to go for a drive. I'd have a little itty bitty Mitsubishi Mirage. Um, it's like the size of a Tic Tac. And, you know, we would all pile in the car. And I never made any choices about music. It was always Cheyenne that picked the music. And we would just crank the bass. Um, and drive all over the county. And, you know, between sort of like listening to all the Cardi B and stuff like that, just to begin to talk about her history and her dreams and, and the things that she wanted for a family and begin to imagine what what she wanted her big life to be, not not just the difficult now, but the sort of dreams of the future. I, I love my biological family, but they were not... They're not always, you know, the most reliable to make decisions in a time of crisis. And, you know, our relationships, like our personal relationships within that family are a bit, like, a bit afraid and stressful at times. And, it, you know, it just, it felt better to know that if anything were to ever happen or knowing that, you know, I had a responsible and caring and dependable adult to make the right choices and know me on a day-to-day -day basis, knowing what I would want and what I wouldn't want. But I don't think it's ever too late to make a family or imagine that you could be surrounded by people who are going to love and celebrate you for the long term. 